Hi Alex, you've Hello. turned in some really strong qualifying performances this year and it didn't look like it was that easy out there today on this track. Yeah, but it, but it didn't have to be, to be honest with you. Um, our, our first run was, was promising and we were, you know, I think we were P16, so we're, we're on the fringes of, of getting into Q, Q2 and then there was a lot of traffic in uh, on the final run, there was a mess, it was like three or four cars fighting through the last corners and into turn one and uh, spent like, the whole lap under I think Lewis's gearbox so uh, yeah it, it's, it's one of them things it's frustrating because I think we, we've, we've addressed a few issues you know, we haven't had very many smooth qualifying sessions this year and it's obviously hurting us in terms of just grid position for the race so uh, we'll have a look at it I think it's um, you know there are positives we, we got the tyres working this weekend which, which we struggled with in previous races and uh, and it was looking strong. It's just uh, yeah, one of them things. So if you got the tyres working, that must give you some optimism for tomorrow. Yes, yes. Uh, race pace doesn't look as strong. I, I think this, just this circuit in general has been a little bit more tricky for us. But uh, I think uh, just looking at the degradation from free practice is going to be huge. So uh, that means there's a bit more opportunity out there. Hey, Nicky, uh, what did the car feel like out there in qualifying? I mean, it's been very tricky all weekend. I think uh, we put it in as good a window as it's been in for qualifying but still again it's uh, yeah it's it's been, been very tricky to drive and kind of get the most out of it I mean I mean two very big mistakes on my final lap but I mean even without those it's it's still not putting us anywhere near um, Q2 so it's I mean I think this track is just highlighting how much we're still missing uh, as a team I mean this is a track where you normally try and put all the downforce you have on the car and I think that's very similar across most teams and we're missing a lot still. I mean, you can see the, the GPS data compared to all the cars, and especially in the high speed, we're missing tons and tons of lap time. And again, that's just pure pure downforce, really. So it's it's uh, yeah, it, it shows that we we know the areas we need to improve as well. I think again, car balance wise, there's still some things we could have done. Like I said, I, I made some mistakes on my lap, but it's just uh, yeah, very difficult right now to get a a good lap time out of it. So how are you feeling about tomorrow? Are you expecting a long afternoon? I mean, I think it'll be a long afternoon for everyone. I mean, the tire degradation seemed very, very high up and down the pit lane, irrespective of, you know, us just being slower than everyone. I mean, everyone seems to be struggling on the tires, so it could be interesting to uh, see what that does. I mean, I think it's going to be even hotter tomorrow. So, uh, again, with these new tires that it still is, uh, seems to be very finicky compared to last year's, it could be opportunity. So we'll stay optimistic and try and uh, take advantage of that.